Hey yo, it's Brian here today talking about the NFL. Going to be talking about some predictions for this upcoming season. Are we even going to have a football season in the first place? Just everything exciting like that, or I should say sadness about this because this year, as I keep saying for the past couple of videos now, it has not been a fun year for everybody. I mean, we're seeing everything going on right now. The NBA season, they're starting their season up in a couple of weeks. I think the end of this month in July, but even then, is it going to be finishing completely? So I'm sure, as you all know, the NFL will be monitoring the NBA see how they handle this whole situation and move on from there. There's been reports that the NFL is going to be canceling two preseason games looking like week one and four from all accounts. The 49ers, if everything goes the way it's supposed to be, we will be playing the Las Vegas Raiders now in San Francisco. I don't even know how they got a preseason game together. I thought they were completely banned from playing each other after what happened in 2011. But hey, it is what it is. It's nice to play the Raiders in week one. I should say the preseason matchup, assuming that they do get rid of weeks one and four. So I think the Chargers week four and the Denver Broncos week one we would not be playing them if it does go their way in canceling weeks one and four of the preseason matchup but yeah NFL season looking like going on schedule looking like everything's going back to normal NFL is doing some weird stuff like making people sign a waiver about this whole sickness thing you know if you get sick from their venue or and what have you then they're not liable for that which is kind of messed up in my opinion but hey I mean the NFL they got to protect themselves they got to I guess not get sued or anything like that for everything going on but hey I mean if you want complete safety if you want nothing going on I'd recommend them to play with no fans to be honest with you I mean as I said in the NFL they make money from the TV deals that's probably the majority of their money coming to TV deals ticket sales they kind of make some money from that but it's all about those TV deals and that's why it's always good to negotiate if you're the 32 owners of the NFL getting those Fox NBC deals because hey they need some money because they're living poor right anyways look at the NFL season predictions for this upcoming year hmm what to talk about are they gonna start on time most likely i think that's the thing that is going to be happening for the nfl they've been in uh not enamored but they've been saying that they're going to start week one on time nothing's going to be hampering this whole thing operation going on for this upcoming season the 49ers they'll be playing the arizona cardinals week one at levi stadium so california is everything going to be okay then can we even play at levi's in the first place even with no fans i mean looking like a couple of months ago we couldn't even play sports Sports in California, but Governor Gavin Newsom, I think, in May said that we can kind of play football and sports in general without fans coming upcoming summer. So this is coming in the fall, September, and I believe that they will be playing in San Francisco for the remainder of the year, minus anything closing down for uh, sickness I issues going on. But a lot of things can happen within a couple of months. Maybe we'll find some better treatment for people getting sick. Maybe we'll have more testing. But as of right now, we don't know what's going on with everything, but it is getting worse from almost all the states, North Carolina, South Carolina, we are getting worse as well. Texas, Florida, they are getting even worse for reopening way too early, but hey, I mean, you do have a double-edged sword. Do you stay open or do you stay closed? Both have pros and cons, and that you got to deal with it whatever we got right now but for the most part everything's going to go go back to normal i mean i don't think they're going to be doing another lockdown for the economy again from any of the 50 states i think they'll have some more restrictions but i feel like if they want to close down businesses and what have you it'll be up to the businesses if they want to shut down they want to do a takeout orders if you're a restaurant business and what have you man i just went off topic again but hey you know this is a real life issue football season has been a little bit less hyped up this year in particular i mean it's just been a terrible year and you, you've noticed a lack of videos of this upcoming 2020 season i'll be doing a lot of prediction videos i'll be doing a lot of exciting things for this campaign but i'm gonna wait a little bit longer to see what's going on with the nfl what's going on with this whole sickness thing and assuming that they do have a football season in august if everything goes well with training camp and what have you i'll be ramping up the videos big time and we can sort of try to get back to normal to our regular schedule regular season start with the edge to edge videos prediction videos my favorite videos of the year and that's all we can hope for, just making sure that we can get as normal as possible. Everything gets better as much as possible. But as of right now in July, early July, 4th of July, nothing's going to get normal anytime soon. So, yep, I mean, right now, not really optimistic about the NFL season for me. But I think they will start the season normally, but they will have no fans. And that's where I, really what I stand for in this upcoming 
prediction video right here. Another prediction really is maybe less travel. I don't know how they're going to be doing that with less traveling. Maybe they can travel as less as possible. But for the most part, I mean, the 49ers, they did a really good job for their schedule. They started in San Francisco week one. And then the Jets and Giants, they stayed there in New York for two weeks. And then they played in San Francisco for three straight weeks. So I think they had to, they had to talk to the NFL, making sure that they don't travel as much as possible. Because going from the West Coast to the East Coast, that's not fun at all. The 49ers, they're always one of the most traveled teams in the NFL. And to travel the least amount of times, I think that's a really beneficial thing for this team as much as possible but yeah I mean I, I think the season's going to start as normal as possible I think nothing's going to be hampering them week one unless this just gets absolutely worse everybody gets sick and we're all stuck in quarantine for two weeks if, if that does happen but for the most part I think week one September 13th for the 49ers against the Arizona Cardinals they do start up normally for the upcoming year that's pretty much it you guys please let me know what you guys think about the upcoming season will we start on time will we cancel the season will we stop during the middle of the season I like to what you guys to say in the comments below if you guys like this please like and subscribe that's going to help me out a lot I'll be catching you guys up maybe tomorrow on a Saturday for 4th of July if not then I'll probably catch you guys up on Sunday Monday I'll see y'all then bye guys love y'all have a great rest of your night go Niners all day hot boys